Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zumbinis. So today, we're going back to Who's Bayou to tackle it on the very hard difficulty. And oh man, this... this is gonna be a fane, I'll just say that. Let's get started. The first mission, I have a feeling, is gonna be the toughest one of the three. The other two I'm not too worried about. After days of hopping swampy, muddy ponds along the Who's Bayou Trail, the Zumbinis come to a river where there's but one way across. Ooh, only one way across. And that is via Captain Cajun's ferry. Welcome to the boat. <laughs> now hurry yourselves up and find your seat. Yeah, you can see how this is going to be tough. Captain Cajun's ferry boat, level 3. Seating on Captain Cajun's ferry boat is very important. Zumbinis can only sit next to each other if they have at least one matching feature. Same hair, no eyes, nose color, or feet. Now, there are more links between seats for a greater challenge. Instead of being two lines of chairs all in a row, now we've got a 4x4 four four grid of chairs. So some Zumbinis are going to have to share four traits. Or if you're going to have to share a trait with four different neighbors. So, my strategy for this one is find Zumbinis that have common traits, put them in the middle, and work outwards. So you seem to have some common traits. Fine, sit wherever you want to, I don't really care. You seem to have common traits. Also keep in mind that they need to have common traits with each other. Hmm. This is going to be tricky. Even getting the middle to line up is going to be a bit tricky. There you go, you got it. So let's try them. Then we've got... That guy's got spiky hair. Sprain there. Ponytail with a bow tie. Ah, propeller. Sure. Sprain and glasses. Sprain and glasses. Ah, sure. Bicycle and a bolt cut. Purple nose and a sprain. That guy's gonna be a little trickier. You've got roller skates. Nope. Can't do that. Oh, that's right. She's there. Okay, well this is going to be a bit tricky, isn't it? Maybe we don't put him in the middle, except finding a Zumbini with traits that match all of these guys is going to be tough. Because he's the only green-nosed guy left. We'll put that green-nosed guy there instead. And yeah, that actually works. There you go, you got it. Yeah, that works. Okay, then... He's got spiky hair, but not what I'm looking for. Not exactly what I'm looking for, no. He's got a bowl cut, though. We can, we can move some of these guys around. You're going to need a lot of finagling on this level. A lot of finagling. We can put you there. Let's see. You've got glasses. Ah, there. sure! We cannot put you there, though. That's a bit of a problem. He's got a sprain. Mm -hmm. No, that's not going to work. We pretty much have to put her there. And then... She's, the, uh, she's an odd duck, so maybe we'll put her in the corner. So she only has to share with two Zumbinis who are adjacent. And then let's see, you've got a sprain. There you go, you got it. And then you've got normal eyes. Do we have normal eyes with a bowl cut? No, we don't, do we? Oh, but you've got normal eyes and no, but that screws up with him. Darn it! 
Alright. Starting over. Actually, easier way to start over. Nice, Venus. It's exactly the same puzzle every time, so it's literally just well, about... Well, 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 what do we have here? <laughs> hey, dude. Alright, I do definitely want... Fine, say that whatever you want to, I don't really care. Okay, yeah, that looks good, that looks good. Then we'll put you there. And then, let's see... Who could I put in between them? Nope, nope, that's a mistake. I tried doing that last time. That did not work out for in my favor. Who has a bowl cut without glasses? Only that guy. Cool. Okay. Like that. Now let's build that. Ah, sure. Okay. We got this skill in. Put him there. <laughs> Oh, she... Hang on. Better idea. Better idea. She goes there. There you go, you got it. And he goes here, and we put our last normal-eyed guy, guy there. Ah, we can go there. Sure! Let's see. Oh, uh-oh. That's not good. We ran in out of bicycles. And purple noses. And purple nosed guys with bicycles. We do that, we can line them up there. We've got a bowl cut. <laughs> You've got a spring, so you can interact with them. You've got a ponytail, but no, that doesn't quite work. Oh, you can go there. Oh, this might... Well, that's going to be a problem with Miss <laughs> Motorcycle. Maybe move you back. Ah, this part's always so hard. Getting the last zoom beanies in. Mm. Tell you what, you've got a green there nose. There you go, you got it. You've got a bicycle and a purple nose. You get the bushy hair. <laughs> Why does everything have to be so difficult? You've got a bald head. <laughs> Everything lines up except this last Zumbini. Oh, bother. Maybe we can finagle a little bit more. So she shares except with that guy. Can we borrow somebody? Ah, sure. There's way too much finagling involved on this one. <laughs> way too much. 
There you go, you got it. Once again, it winds up with everything except that guy. Hmm. What can I do, though? Because, like, if you only have one Zumbini left, you can't really just move another Zumbini from somewhere else. You have to, like, reorder the entire thing. Oh, my. I can't even move that guy over. Those roller skates are annoying. Those roller skates are really annoying. Bah! Humbug. <laughs> Darn it! Like, all of my spiky here guys pretty much have the sunglasses. Almost. Almost. <sighs> Gotta restart. This is so hard. Alright, new strategy. I'm taking these guys that have like virtually well, no features in common with anybody really else and putting them in the corner. Let's see. <laughs> you were hard to match up. Actually, let's try putting some of the more unusual Zumbinis in the center. Maybe that would be a better idea. Preferably Zumbinis that differ pretty greatly from each other, but have like one feature in common or something. Oh, Miss Sleepy Eyes with a ponytail, you belong in a corner, definitely. There you go, you got it. Okay, alright, so now let's try building outwards. Ah, sure! He's not dumping them in the pool, though, which is interesting. Ah, sure. sure. <laughs> Maybe that would work better somewhere else. Yeah, that works better now. Let's see. Mm 
Pardon. Nope. Can't put him there. Let's put a bald headed guy there and then try to interact. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, no, that doesn't work. Darn it. There you go, you got it. But for how long? <laughs> Ah, sure. sure. Ponytail, nope. <gasps> nope, she doesn't match him. No. Forget you. There you go, you got it. The problem is almost nobody matches her. <laughs> nope. I was gonna move him, dude, come on. Ow! Yeah, this is pretty much as hard as it gets. No, it's not. It gets much harder on the next difficulty. <laughs> Ah, this is such sure. a silly song for anyone to sing. The problem is, I have a bunch of Zumbinis where it's like, I only have one Zumbini with pink shoes, I only have one Zumbini with an orange nose. Ho ho ho. Like, I have very few Zumbinis with a blue nose. It's... Yeah, it's not good. This is a particularly hard group of Zumbinis to work with. <laughs> Most of them tend to seem to have green noses. And purple noses. Yeah, I only have one with a red nose. Only have one with sleepy eyes. This is just like a really, really, really difficult group of Zumbinis to work with. Alright, guess what? We're setting again! My new strategy... Take the common traits like I did the last time, and then just lump them together. There you go, you got it. Cool. I also have a lot of spring users. Ah, sure! There is no way this is going to work. There you go, you got it. Yep, left of this doofus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crabs alive! <laughs> Leave the swimming for the fish. There we go, there. Now he drowned as a weenie. Except... They came out just fine. Amazing. There you go, you got it. No! I wanted to move him afterwards. That looked like it was painful, dude. Come on. <laughs> ah, sure! Why, thank you. How gracious of you. 
Oh Luca. my gosh, I finally freaking did it! <sighs> that was one of the toughest groups of Zumbi needs to work with for that puzzle. Travel on, brave adventure. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I beat it really quickly just by throwing Zumbini's on. Bruno, the shape swapper, has a special tool for swapping lily pads. Now they'll need to make their own pads across. Yeah, once you get to the later difficulties of Captain Kajun, it's like, oh, if you have one Zumbini at the end who can't go, guess what? You basically have to redo the whole puzzle. So this one is, hasn't changed a whole lot. The only difference? Crabs. Titanic Tattooed Toads. Level 3. Each Zumbini needs a Titanic Tattooed Toad to carry it across the field of lily pads to the other side. Most of the toads will follow a special path that matches the shape of the flower, the shape of the lily pad, or color of the stripe on its back. For example, a toad with a red stripe will follow a path of lily pads with red flowers to the other side. Some toads cannot cross the river at all, and none will hop diagonally. Using the swapping stick, you'll need to swap some lily pads around to make complete paths and get your zumbinis across. To swap lily pads, click on the swapping stick, click on one pad, and then click on the second pad to swap positions. Beware of the lily pad crabs that can block your progress. The crabs move from top to bottom on the lily pad field and will not change their path or disturb a frog's path until certain lily pads are moved by using the swapping stick. So these guys don't hurt the frogs, they just kind of get in your way. And what you'll notice is that they basically hop on their lily pads. There are lily pad pads already carved out for them. So that one, he's a y sh he crosses on Y-shaped lily pads. There's a complete path all the way down. The thing is, though, if you swap lily pads and break up their path, then they create blockades that make it impossible for your toads to get across until you make their paths again. So basically what I like doing is kind of what I've done before, let all the toads except the lily pad toads across, and whenever you swap two lily pads from now on, make sure that the two lily pads you swap have the same lily pad shape. And alright, let's start by finding the most common colors. Alright, so orange already has a path across. Blue already has a path across. Red already has a path across. Purple almost has a path across. And how about white? White almost has a path across as well. White we're going to have to work with a little bit to make that happen. Let's start with the purple path. Okay, let's see. Oh, blue's done. So yeah, if you put the toad down, you really don't have to worry about the the uh, crabs blocking your pathway. Because if you if they run into you, you can ju you'll just turn around. It's not that big of a deal. All right. We need a purple. We need a purple lily pad that's in the lily pad shape. So that one will do. And. There we go. All right. Now for the white lily pads. Y-shaped white lily pad? Is there one? Yep, there's one right there. Now we need another Y-shaped white lily pad. Might be trickier to come by. Oh, wait a second. We don't need this one. Boom. Send them on their way. And now we need to start carving out paths out of the flowers, or the shape of the flowers on the lily pads before long. This could be a little bit more problematic, because we have to jump up several white lily pads in a row. And that puts us in the way of a few crabs. But if necessary, we can create a temporary blockade for the crabs. That might be necessary, actually. Yeah, worst case scenario, we can create a temporary blockade for the white crabs. Or for the lily pad crabs. So the white frog can pass. 
Yeah, because it keeps doing this. All right. I'm going to replace that with a circle of a different color. There. Flower, 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 flower. Oh, sweet. If we swap this with a Y-shaped oily pad with a flower on it, we can actually get across like that. That'll do. Yep, now the flower toad can cross, and yay! White toad finally will make it through. The reason I swapped that one instead of the one the frog was going on was because he was essentially hopping there, and that was syncing him up perfectly to always run into the crab, whereas swapping that away, he wouldn't go that pathway, therefore he'd be going a little bit faster than the crabs could uh, spawn. Alright, and then we've got to send another white one. There we go. Alright, let's see. Is there a diamond path that's been made? Ooh, I like the look of that. Okay. A little bit of a break, but not much. We can carve that once the white uh, toad is away. Look at the X's. Oh, there's already a path carved out of the X's. Sweet. Okay. So then the diamond path. Alright, so do 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 X lily pad with a diamond on it, a lily pad lily pad with a diamond on it, and another lily pad lily pad with a diamond on it. Boom. So the crabs are like mildly annoying, but as long as you don't break up their paths, they won't cause you very much trouble. And yeah, that's significantly easier than Captain Cajun on this difficulty. I'll be honest, Who's By You has very interesting difficulty ranks. So, like, Captain Cajun gets progressively harder each time. The Titanic Tattooed Toads gets tougher from oh so hard to very hard, but n not besides that. And then the Stone Rise gets easier for the first two difficulties, and then gets ridiculous on the final difficulty. So yeah! Who's by you, I'd say, on the hard hardest difficulty is much harder than the lower path. But that might just be me. And also now, one nice thing, once you put the final toad on, the crabs stop coming, which is really nice. Splendid job! Thank you! Thank you very much. I'll be here all week. That one is no. Once you know to only swap lily pads that have the same lily pad shape, it, that level becomes really easy. After many days crashing through the swamps, the Zumbinis find a river that has long since dried up. But how do they get over the wall? So I actually think this one would make more sense to be the last level in the Deep Dark Forest, and then Mudball Wall would fit the marshlands a little better. But Mudball Wall fits the puzzles of the lower sector better. Okay, so this one is actually even easier than the last difficulty, believe it or not. Stone Rides level 3. The Zumbinis must link together to turn the stone elevators on and continue their journey. Link Zumbinis according in two groups of six, according to one common feature, such as red noses. The symbols on the stone pad show you what attribute the Zumbini must share. So first difficulty was eight links that each needed a specific trait. Mm -hmm. Last difficulty, it was five links of three, and then one of a solo. This one is three giant links, and there are a lot of spots where Zumbinis don't have to link up at all. Which is super nice! So, let's start with you. Actually, nope. 
We need three people here who all have the same hair. Same nose, you can have the same nose. Then we have same eyes and same hair. Same feet, nope. Same feet. Same eye, nope. That requires normal feet. Alright, let's try this again. Same feet. Same eyes. Same feet. Same hair. Alright, I guess this one's a little more challenging. Do we have a cyclist who has glasses? No, we don't. So because we have a really specific group of Zubinis, this one is a little more annoying than I expected. Much like how it made Captain Cajun really annoying. Alright, same feet, then same eyes, then same feet. Then followed by same hair. Is that really everybody I have with normal eyes? Really? Okay, now that's super annoying. Alright, but now we're at the end. Now we can just link these two up by hair. And put these guys on the remaining blank spots. Job. I still contend that's easier than the first difficulty, and I contend that's easier than the second difficulty on this level. Very hard stone rise is the easiest stone rise of them all. My personal opinion, because there are so many blank spots for you to put the last Zumbinis. Oh man. Okay, that was way harder than I was expecting for this go around. Because the next very, very hard is going to take ah, what we just did almost out of the and woods, then make it e even more insane. Say? Get them through the next part of the journey, and these Zumbinis are home free. <laughs> so you can see I've got these Zumbinis in a cubby because I didn't want to put them through the Mountains of Despair any more than I have to. So when we leave these guys here, they're also going to join the cubby next time we bring a group that goes that way. And now if we go to Zumbiniville, we should have a new building erected for the hell that we just went through. This is new. This library was raised to honor the Zumbinis who finessed the ferry boat, crept cautiously past lily pad crabs, and surmounted stone elevators when traveling was very hard. I agree with that. April 11th, 2018. Okay, well, the good news is, we now only have two episodes left in this main series. We've got to go for the Deep Dark Forest on the hardest difficulty, and we've got to go for Who's By You on the hardest difficulty. Hope to see you next time. We'll be doing the Deep Dark Forest first. And I'm really looking forward to that, because the Deep Dark Forest on the hardest difficulty rank, while it's really hard, it's hard for the right reasons, and I'm confident in my abilities to get through it. That's going to be awesome, though. I hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.